You. You. So you want to get into food photography, huh? I absolutely love food photography and today I'm going to show you exactly what you need to get started in food photography, the bare essentials. Now if you haven't been to my channel before, my name is Flip Scrub, I'd really love it if you subscribe. Um, we're going to get out of this office setting and we're going to jump just behind this light over here and I'm going to show you my little setup and show you more or less what you need. Now the basics, camera, lens, light, tripod, bounce, diffusion and some food. I mean, it, it's really that simple. Later on, it gets a little bit more complicated. You can buy a whole load of things, but today, really the simplest, like five, six things that you need to get yourself started taking really killer shots. Right, so what you guys need, um, this is actually pretty exciting because I love food photography. So I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do it and what you need to do it and really how simple it is and how beautiful you can make something like this look. I mean, this is a table, it's a piece of card and um, it's a few, you know, berries and some cheese and that's really it. I got like a plate from AliExpress or got one of my grandmother's old plates and old um, knives and that's it. It's really simple. So the basics, you need a camera. You could also use your phone. Um, now, I'm not, I'm not joking around. Say we get a photo right here and boom. I mean, you guys could see that, right? I mean, it's, um, that is Instagrammable. That is, it's, it's, it's actually good enough, but you want it to look really, really nice. Need a camera. Um, I'm using the Sony a7 III, beautiful camera. I'm using a very, very cheap lens. It's a nifty 50. You can buy nifty 50s for extremely cheap. You can get them secondhand for like a hundred bucks. Um, this is a 50 millimeter lens. It's an F 1.8 and it gives you a really nice angle of view. So it's not wide, it's not too long. So you can have it pretty close to the table and you've got a really nice setup. Um, and like I said, you buy the camera, you buy the lens used for a hundred dollars and you've got yourself an awesome setup for food photography. Second thing you need, that, sorry, the second thing was the lens. Third thing you need is a tripod. I am using a Manfrotto 055 X Pro. Now, it's not a cheap tripod, but with tripods, oh, I've been through a lot of tripods and believe me, it's better to buy once and properly because I've wrecked a whole load. This guy's been with me for about 10 years and he is absolutely awesome. Um, and the cool thing with him is you can actually take out the arm here and as you can see, you can have it so you're taking flat lay photos of your food, which is absolutely awesome. Otherwise, you'd have to get a C-stand or make some kind of setup here. You just flip it out, put it sideways and you're down. So that is a really cool tripod to use. Um, diffusion, I mean, this whole setup without diffusion um, looks really, really harsh and pretty ugly. And all this is, is literally just a, um, that's it. So you get yourself some diffusion. You can put it on a chair, you can put it on the table. You can just stand it up. I have it on a stand here with a kind of like a, um, a clamp. Um, and behind it, I have the newer RGB 660, which actually newer sent me, which is an awesome little light, just shining through here. Um, so make sure you get some diffusion. You can even use just like simple, um, doo -doo -doo. You can use simple like baking paper. This stuff will diffuse your light. Um, doesn't cost anything. So, well, you know, a dollar or what have you. So you can use baking paper to get that light diffused and really nice and soft. Um, bounce. You can get like some poster cards or you can do what I do. I just get like different sizes of um, styrofoam put some um, Gorilla tape around them so they don't kind of get ruined really quickly. And um, you just use it as a bounce. Um, so you bounce light off. The light that's coming through here is quite harsh. Um, well, harsh, it creates quite a strong contrast. But if I put this guy here, it's looking a lot, lot nicer. So it bounces a little bit that light back off. It's not as strong as this, but you can actually change exactly the look you're going for. Um, so you guys, 
Bounce is really, really useful for food photography. You can get a few of these, long ones, small ones, however you want to do it. You can get a piece of paper. Um, you know, anything that's white and flat will generally work. Um, but it's cool just to get a couple of these from your hardware store and, you know, put some Gorilla tape around them. Now, um, the last thing, which I think is really important, is this orange cable. Now, this is the tether cable. I'm guessing all of you have computers. Um, if you have a Sony, you can get free Sony software to tether your computer. So from this cable um, to your computer, and I did make a film up here about how to tether your Sony camera. Now, it's pretty similar for Canon and Nikon. Um, and all it really means is that if you're having your camera pretty high up and you can't see what you're doing, um, you will have a view on your computer. So if I just bring my computer along here. So this is my computer. I have a view, so whatever I'm doing, it's live. And I can take a photo, I can change all the exposure values, I can change the um, focus, everything um, right here. So that is really, really helpful. Um, if you're taking photos, you've got clients, you know, it's, it's really helpful having a Teva cable. It's worth buying a good one. This one's from Teva Pro, um, Teva Tools, I think. They cost about $40, $50 for a five meter one, but they work really well. Um, and that's really about it. Um, you're gonna need like some kind of, I mean, I've got a table, but I use this little piece of card. Underneath all this stuff, I have um, plastiline. I have like a piece of um, just, just a little box, just to lift this little one up a little bit higher so it's in focus. Um, underneath the knife, I have some, um, you know, blue tack just to get it angled at the right angle and you can't see it from above. You know, I'm gonna get into like the, the styling essentials in the next film, but right now I just wanted to show you the main things you need. Um, I use gloves <laughs> so I don't get, um, you know, finger marks on any of the actual food that I'm um, styling. This stuff is really simple. Um, if you have any questions at all, just drop them in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. And um, you know, give me my film if you like. Give my film a like if you liked it. And um, I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Oh yeah, check out the photo from this.